I'm here with Mark Levier. He's the president and CEO for Great Western Minerals Group. How are you today, Mark? We're doing great, Tracy. Thanks for inviting us uh, to speak with you. Okay, you just put out a news release a couple of days ago about your metallurgical update on your South African property. Can you give us the, these very robust highlights for our audience? Sure. We, uh, we started in on the metallurgical testing um, in the first quarter of this year, and we wanted to go back and make sure that we were testing all of our various options that could be available to us in treating this monoz monazite mineralogy. And the, the biggest thing is, is making sure in any process development scheme that you do, whether it's gold or base metals, it doesn't matter. You want to know that, that you've checked off those boxes on those technology options that are available to you. And that's what we've been working on. And as you note in the press release, uh, we've been doing some uh, testing on the X-ray transmission referred to as XRT technology. Uh, we've gotten some very good results on that uh, testing, and uh, there's still some follow-on testing with that. Uh, we have also went in and we've done a lot of work on, on uh, low-intensity magnetic separation, magnetic separation in general. We've looked at gravity separation techniques, and we're getting some very good results, which will allow us to do more pre-concentration. And this is very important from the standpoint that this is an underground mine, and there is going to be dilution. And the more of that gang material that comes out in the dilution that we can pull out prior to the, the upgrading to a concentrate is, is very important. Okay, so you've just brought up a, a very big factor that's currently in hot debate in the rare earth market, which of course is the metallurgical extraction processes that are out there. Because if you can't get it out of the ground, it doesn't really matter, does it? So can you tell us a little bit more about your REE oxide uh, extraction process that you were talking about in your most recent news release? Sure. They, I mean, really, there's two phases to this. There's two parts to it. The first is I'm going to refer to as mineral beneficiation, okay? And that's where we're looking to upgrade the material from the run of mine grade, trio grade, to a concentrate grade. And you can do pre-concentration techniques, and then there's the, the standby uh, processing methods of flotation, okay? That's mineral beneficiation. When we start talking extraction, I use the term extraction when we're talking about the hydrometallurgical aspect. That's when we're, we're using strong oxidants to take the elements that are in a solid phase and bring them into a liquid phase. And so in the hydrometallurgical extraction, of course, that's also testing that's been ongoing at the same time. And, you know, we're looking at caustic cracking. We're looking at uh, acid uh, treatments, uh, sulfuric acid treatments to bring the elements into solution. And then once you have the elements in solution, how are you going to get them out? How are you going to get them out and what are you going to do with them? And so that's really the testing format that we've been looking at. So, you know, obviously we're, we're looking at what the, what the uh, extractions are, the percent extractions are, how efficient is it, what can we expect in terms of that extraction ultimately and ultimately then taking that into uh, final recovery of the treatments. I noticed in your last, your second quarter results that your revenue had increased 25% last quarter for less common metals. Can you talk to us a little bit about this very big advantageous factor because it's my understanding that you are what, a, what one of maybe three companies that are currently seeing revenue in our space at this time? Sure. Less common metals, as you know, is a world-class metal alloy uh, facility that's, that's an integral part of, of our vision of uh, mine to metal. Um, less common metals, uh, obviously earlier this year, first quarter, we reported the first strip cast furnace was in operational, as well as we got the second strip cast furnace in. Um, we, th that allows us to, to use the latest technology in making metal alloy that we provide to our customers uh, in Europe and Japan, uh, particularly uh, neodymium. Uh, iron neodymium boron uh, metal alloy. Now those revenues are up because in uh, 2012 we obviously had a big move from our old site to our new site, our new facility, as well as putting in new furnaces so our revenues dropped off. But I, I just caution that uh, while we 
We are still working to optimize that and work uh, very closely on increasing our customer base. It all still boils down to it doesn't matter whether it's us or anybody else. Where are you going to get the material, the metal, to feed into that, that furnace to make the alloy? And at what price? And that, I mean, you can buy it all, all day long from China at an elevated price. We have to buy it and be able to make a profit. And so, obviously, that's the challenge. And that's the reason for having a secure supply line of, of a high-quality, sustainable feed, such as we would get out of steam cap scroll. So, I think we've touched on most of the highlights and the advantages of being a shareholder of Great Western Minerals Group, but can you add, can you add any additional competitive advantages? Absolutely. i just like to reemphasize that this is, you know, uh, regardless of where we're at in the process in our studies, I want everybody to remember one thing. This is still a extremely robust project. It's the highest trio grade run of mine material in the world. It's the right size business model. Uh, the high grade allows us to process 150 ton a day, which is nowhere near any other project. That processing rate means that we're able to maintain a very low capital requirement and at the same time produce very high quality 5,000 ton per annum of uh, trio concentrate. And I think that those are the values that everybody needs to focus on and remember because this project's going to go. This is, this, is, this is one that needs to be developed. It needs to be in production for the rest of world supply. Mark, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate the update.